Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both quarterbacks have reliable tight ends. They know they'll be able to count on to make plays. It's the 49ers going up against the Cardinals. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up with the San Francisco 49ers. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gordon here in the booth. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And you know, Charles Larry took a moment to highlight a couple of the tight ends that we're going to see in this game. Both of these teams really look to get them involved in the offense early and often, don't they? And we continue to see in the NFL how the tight end is becoming more and more of a highlighted position. Some of these guys can flex out like wide receivers. A lot of them can come inside, block, as well as catch passes. He's exactly right. Tight end, that's a position we'll continue to follow as this game unfolds. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Carson Palmer brings Arizona out onto the field, and they got the Week 2 win over Indianapolis. That was Bruce Arians' first return to Indianapolis since the Chuck Strong, the Chuck Pagano year of 2012. A close win, but a win nonetheless. And a big one for him, and his team was down for much of the game. In fact, their first lead was when they won the game in overtime, right? So that was a big battling win for Bruce Arians and his Arizona team. But, of course, great memories for him of being in Indianapolis and being named Coach of the Year that year as he guided the Colts in the Chuck Strong absence. On first and ten, it's Palmer. So this one complete to Jermaine Gresham. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. This is Kerwin Williams, his first carry. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. A little mix-up early in the season for this offensive unit for Arizona because week one, David Johnson fractures his wrist, Charles, against the Lions, and now you've got a number of guys in the mix to carry the football. Now, all of them trying to equal one David Johnson. You talk about Kerwin Williams, Andre Ellington, who they'd moved out to receiver for a while. Now he's back at running back, and they re-signed C.J. 2K, Chris Johnson, and they brought him back on September 12th. So we'll see how Bruce Arians mixes and matches that. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if they're looking for a trade to try and find a veteran running back. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And a look now at the defensive starters for San Francisco. Jimmy Ward has the ability to put multiple positions in the secondary. I think his best spot is at the nickel corner able to utilize his instincts, able to utilize his strength. He can take on any of the receivers inside and match up with their quickness or their height. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. From the gun, it's Palmer. Find John Brown. Touchdown, Cardinals. John Brown, 59 yards. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned to get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone.
Here's Phil Dawson now for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. Just a four play drive that time. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Dawson now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Out comes the offense for San Francisco. I see Brian Hoyer. One problem, the guy who scored all 12 points for him this season is on the sideline, and that's Robbie Gold. So the guys that are out there, including Hoyer, they need to pick it up after two weeks. They do, but think about the issues that they are confronted with. This is really a brand-new roster. How many guys remain from the year before? Somewhere around 15, mm -hmm. 16, something like that. Offensive line has had to be rebuilt. They've really struggled to try and move the football albeit against two of the better defenses in the league. Carolina week one, Seattle week two. Here we go now. Boom, that is hot. First carry for Carlos Hyde. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Carlos Hyde, by the way, led all runners on Sunday with 124 yards. So although only field goals for the 49ers, that was a bright spot. And that's what they count on from Carlos Hyde, to be the guy who can eat up carries, control the clock a little bit. He can run between the tackles and also has some pretty good speed once he breaks free. What do you have, a 60-plus yard mm -hmm. run in the game against Seattle? So he can do all of that. They just need him to stack those kinds of performances back to back to back so that San Francisco can improve on offense. Hi. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Holding offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. to his resume real because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big time penetration, and throw people for losses. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. The 20, 10, touchdown, 49ers. A great play there. 70 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. Yeah. 
It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And a long run there in the end to top it off. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. <laughs> Twisting away. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Down. This one complete to Gresham. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive, and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now a first down carry. It's Will. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Again, it's Williams. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. So they run it on second down. Now let's see what third down brings here for the offense. Throwing is Palmer. And he can't get away from the pressure. Palmer sacked. Eric Armstead with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. 
And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Andy Lee, three-time All-Pro on to punt as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. is Selleck here with a grab. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And the starting crew now for San Francisco. Head coach Kyle Shanahan will bring a brand new look to the offense for San Francisco in 2017. They will rely much more on a zone blocking scheme, better timing patterns downfield, and a quarterback has some mobility both in and out of the pocket in order to try and improve on a 31st ranking in 2016. On second down, Hyde. And an alley to run. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. I think we saw some of the best qualities of Carlos Hyde on that run, able to pick up something there, being physical running the football, but I think he's got really good vision and great feet. He's going to be the key to this offense really being revitalized. So the run gets him the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now a play fake here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. This Cardinals pass rush in 2016 got home 48 times. That's a pretty good number. A very good number led in the league. Is it just because the dudes that they had or the scheme or both or what? It's always the dudes first, but their scheme, attacking, pressure, they'll continue to pile up the sacks. He'll only get it up to about the 31. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. With the Cardinals, you get a package of pressure. And that's on any down, any distance. They always want more people near the line of scrimmage, more people attacking the quarterback. And then back behind that, they have a lot of different looks in their secondary. And they can't wait to get Tyron Matthew back on the field full time. He's their wild card because they can play him at safety or at corner. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. So possession one ended in six, possession two likely going to end in a punt. And that's okay. They just got to get back to what they worked on in the opening drive and continue to make a few adjustments along the way. It won't be exact because the defense will make a few adjustments themselves. Just get back to your game plan. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. Oh, good move. 
A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They begin the drive with Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. down it's Palmer he gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald and he takes this one down all the way near the 30 and a nice gain of 21 yards I know one adage that actually held up last year age is just a number and I'm talking about Larry Fitzgerald 33 years old led the NFL in receptions with 107 third oldest guy to lead the NFL in receptions. Two guys did it at age 34, Jerry Rice and MacArthur Lane. And now a first down following that long game. gives to Johnson and he struggles to get a yard here maybe a yard down to the 31. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. They stay on the ground this time it's Williams. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Play action. It's Palmer. The swing pass caught, and he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. John Brown with his second touchdown in this opening quarter, and the Cardinals have taken the lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him, or you make sure you have more people in his general area wherever he lines up to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Five plays there on that drive. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Dawson now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up 
about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21 yard line. here on first down and the pressure will bring him down here the Cardinals get home for the sack Marcus Golden coming in from his outside linebacker spot he buries him for a loss of 10 or 11 he may not be a household name but Marcus Golden plays with such passion such fury and some pretty good pass rush moves at 12 and a half sacks in 2016. Tied for third in the NFL, former second round pick out of Missouri. Yeah, that's turned into a little bit of a uh, pass rushing factory, isn't it? Got a lot of guys who can get there from Mizzou. And we will not see another play as time has run out on this first quarter. It's a close game here early on. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Second quarter now. Brandon God and Charles Davis with you. It's the 49ers in control of the football, but they face a second and long to start things out. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. George Kittle, the rookie tied in with it. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Here's Bradley Pinion now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Taken in at the 22. And oh, he spins past him and into space. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kerwin Williams, 78 yards. And the Cardinals are able to show off their quick strike ability. A lot of times they want this guy just to try to flip field position. He flipped it all the way into the end zone. Yeah, the rule of thumb is can you pick up 10 yards? That's getting a first down. Instead, he takes it all the way and provides a big spark for his team. Now Dawson for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to well, It's no secret. That's why they have him return punts. He has the capability to take him back, and he did so there.
So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, <laughs> hey, listen, there's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. All right, here we go. Three, nine, nine. A play fake to Hyde. Now it's Hoyer. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 15 yards through the air on a first down. As if he didn't have enough to think about on that route, the comeback route, coming back to the football and catching it, decided to make sure he toe-tapped and kept himself in bounds. And that was spectacular, but on the comeback route, maybe a little easier to deal with the sideline since you, you've got better vision of it? I think that's a great point because you should know exactly where you're going and know how much space you have and make sure you get your feet down. But yeah, coming back to the football, I like it. Good vision. Now Hoyer. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Chandler Jones coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, third down here. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Let's go! He'll drop to throw. And able to find Garcon. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A really nice gain of 25 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. First down, a run with Hyde. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Green, 39! Green, 39! 
They'll go play action with Hyde. Now it's Hoyer under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Marcus Golden in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The Niners on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 16. They'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Give him nine on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. A look at Carson Palmer now as we focus in on our player spotlight. He's showing off that arm, showing it off very well. They've got the lead. Don't forget, though, about the protection he's had. The protection's been good. And I'll guarantee you, he hasn't forgotten about it at all because that's keeping him clean in the pocket, allowing him to step into throws and make those deep passes come true. I mean, it's just been beautiful for him to do. But guess what? In the huddle, on the sidelines, guaranteed he's thanking those big guys up front for keeping him safe. I have a feeling he made him by dinner. <laughs> Indeed, entertaining to relive some of those deep balls. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Palmer. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. And now it's second down. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. They go play action now. Palmer. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. DeForest Buckner busting through to get him for a loss of six. Partner, I know the ball security is preached like crazy, but every now and then you've got to know when to get rid of the football and save a little bit of yardage if you're a quarterback. Because now if you're the offensive coordinator, what does it do ver if it was third and ten versus third and much longer as it is now? Yeah, it changes everything in terms of play calling and the pressure you might expect to face on the very next down. Had to throw the ball away and save the yardage. He didn't get it done. Palmer gets him set third and long for the Cardinals after the sack. Now it's Palmer. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Eric Armstead in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this will be taken at the 13. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the Niners will go on offense. First and 10. Out on 
out of field now. Here come the 49ers. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. of a yard there and now second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers that can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. fake. They'll look to throw. And Salak here, left side. 12 more yards there and another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice round, able to look it in and picks up the first down. to the 25. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Every year I go to the combine, I marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. complete to his tight end and he'll be brought down at the 21 just shy of the 20 in the red zone when you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one the Niners on third down they've only converted once in four tries this is third and eight to throw here. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Corey Peters in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again.
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So a miss on his first attempt, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. I know this will surprise you a little bit, Brandon, but you know, kickers can be a fragile breed sometimes. You got to wonder what's going through his mind, but he didn't let that first miss impact him one bit. Hey, I kicked back at Harrison High School. Are you calling my ilk soft? The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. A chance for us to look now at this 49ers defense. They got the stop last time that resulted in a punt, and then it resulted in three for their offense. And this is one time where the defense won't get credit for creating points but that's exactly what they did, all right? Forced them into a punt, turned it over to their offense, and guess what? Points went on the board. Points went on the board, three of them. Now they'll be looking for another stop. Now Palmer on first down. Right side, Gresham. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Two minutes to play here in the first half. More from the desert after this. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Larry Ridley will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Checks this one down to Williams. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now Palmer to throw on second down. And Gresham's got it over the middle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards on the play.
First and ten, it's Palmer. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown, and that'll bring up second down. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Second and ten, it's Palmer again. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Throwing again here, Palmer. And it's caught. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They'll run it with Williams. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down, here's Palmer. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to, have to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. The offense on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and goal. Now Palmer to throw. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. And the 42-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. And that will get the lead up to 14. Well, I say this with a big smile on my face since I'm a little bit on the veteran side. The second oldest kicker in the NFL. He just moved from San Francisco to Arizona and still knocking him through the post. Yeah, Phil Dawson, 42, behind Adam Vinatieri, still kicking at age 44.
Now after the main field goal, here's Dawson back out now to send this one away on the kickoff. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Incomplete. Trent Taylor, the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Draw play as Hoyer gives to Hyde. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. They'll throw now on the final play. And this one is incomplete. So we reach halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals on top as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Larry Ridley. He's standing by with our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports halftime report. The Cardinals are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The 49ers didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. All right, let's roll the highlights. Cardinals now on third and eight. Browns wide open, able to make the grab. And he's going to go 59 yards for the score. As they get out to a 7-0 lead. 49ers have the football early in the first. Run play coming up here, and he'll take this 70 yards for the score. As that evens the score at 7-7. Now third and eight. Palmer is on point with the throw. And this four-play drive goes for a touchdown. 49ers will punt it away. Williams is back for the punt, and he'll win the sprint to the end zone. The lead now at 14. Okay, Larry, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Brian Hoyer and his 49ers heading back out there. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of the offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. Well, guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. Because they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. Here's Hoyer over the middle, and 
it's incomplete. He was looking for Trent Taylor there. And it's second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Now Hyde. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Here we go now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. But these guys got to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for San Francisco. that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive, isn't it? How do they score here, especially a touchdown? It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. They run it again with Williams. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit right at the line of scrimmage. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Partner, when you're not able to run the ball successfully, it really messes everything up for an offense because no longer are you setting the tone and dictating the game. If you do want to throw the ball, play action's kind of gone out the window because they don't respect the run. And last but not least, you don't get to dictate it all when you want to throw the football, and that really hurts you as an offense. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. One yards on the punt there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time.
They start the drive with high. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Extending the arm. Oh, yes, it works. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They run again with Hyde on first. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Second down to the offense, needing five yards. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. The Niners on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This will be third and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And some room to roam now. <laughs> And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They go play action here on first down. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. Here's high. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The Niners on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and nine. the play fake. He'll look to throw. Well, going deep here for Taylor. And it's complete. In the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not.
to review the play, the ruling on the field stands. Gold to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. the toss here's Williams and his rough afternoon continues he's going nowhere again no gain on the play it'll be second down tried to get the edge there the defense just too quick to the ball that's what we call total team defense there can't get to the edge no place to move it inside and then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense Second down, Williams. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. The Cardinals on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third down and 12. Off the play fake to Johnson, Palmer. He gets it to Brown, good play. And they're gonna get this one all the way out across the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Strength throwing the football downfield has never been an issue for this big guy. I still remember the first time I met him. He was playing for USC, and when I got introduced to him, I thought I was meeting their starting tight end, not their starting quarterback. Such a presence, Carson Palmer. Very much so. Has had it ever since he entered campus there and still has it today. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Palmer gives to Johnson on the draw. A broken tackle there, but not a ton to show for it. Tackle just on the other side of midfield. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. The Cardinals on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This time they face a third and two. 
They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. Here's Andy Lee now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the GOAT. Here they're going to be the GOAT. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. They begin on the ground. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Ah! Now Hoyer. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And finally out of bounds, just a few yards short of the goal line at the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 52 yards. The best passing attacks in the NFL often incorporate the guys out of the backfield catching the football. And that's what we just got on that play. As a primary receiver, not always just a check down, not always a safety valve. Sometimes they just get it to them right away because they have the matchup advantage. In the red zone this time. They're going to look to throw. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Chandler Jones in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. side here and he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five so that flag will cost him 15 and it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask any part of it that's going to be 15 yards Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. All right, here we go. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. 
A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats, but really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. shotgun he'll look to throw and this is going to be caught but they'll say out of bounds so it's incomplete George Kittle the receiver that he was looking for and that'll make it third down but not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that I don't think you're being overly critical there you're just analyzing it and he gets those shoulders right that pass will go from incomplete to complete They'll look to throw on third and goal. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Frosty Rucker in there with pressure yet again. And that's the seventh time they've dropped him here this afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. And Gold is able to put it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So three points is the outcome, but probably not what they're looking for given the drive that they were on. Yeah, things were looking good. You had it first and goal, but then the offense sputters a bit, and they're forced to settle for a field goal. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Second and ten. It's Palmer again. It's complete to Brown, right side. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A huge play there for Arizona. 48 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. So here we go, first and ten now. Palmer gives to Johnson. 
And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, pumped out. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. Play action with Hyde. Now it's Hoyer. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They'll drop to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The Niners on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and 10. They'll set up a throw. And that's incomplete. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, level. that's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. Here's Bradley Pinion now, standing just outside his own goal line. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Williams. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Brand is all about pace and tempo now for them. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> They go play action now. Palmer going up top. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jarquiski Tart. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. So they lost yardage, and they declined the penalty. There's no logical reasoning to do that. I'm trying to go through this little Rolodex in, in this small brain of mine, and I'm coming up with nothing, partner. <laughs> I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. First down, he'll drop to throw. And 
his throw here is incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Neutral zone infraction, defense. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. So second and medium, second and five now. Let's go! Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. A very solid gain of 27. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. All right, here we go. Lepper, lepper. Ah. They'll give to Hyde. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Came out of power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, You've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. throw here out of the gun and he's gonna go down they sack him back right around the 30. Corey Peters in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon the amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary let's just face it this offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush it's been demonstrated time and time again Looking for 19 yards here on third down, following two negative plays. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Three, 19. Ah. He'll drop to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing... Not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. 
And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had it online, gave it a pretty good ride, too, but in the end, he's a victim of the crossbar. And, Brandon, you know kickers very well. I bet if we ask him after the game, he'll say he didn't get all of it. We've seen him hit from deeper than this in warm-ups, but here, he's a foot or so from clearing that bar. So out now come the Cardinals. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Following the penalty, it's Williams. <laughs> and a nice carry there of 15 yards. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game you're trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. On third down, Johnson. And that little deke, the juke move that we saw, able to give him the first down yardage before he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. A fake to Johnson. Now it's Palmer. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. You give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. the gun. Palmer. Man open left side is Brown. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown Arizona. John Brown. A 22-yard touchdown Brown. And the Cardinals will extend their lead.
And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Extra point try now for Dawson. Pushes the lead up to 11. That time, a six-play drive. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And last time out, another missed field goal, so maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run him back out there in a tough situation. But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try and take the field goal out of it. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Let's go. Three, 19. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's incomplete. Second down now after the incompletion. Here we go now. They'll look to throw here. Throw is incomplete. here for the cards on third. Blitzer play coverage. Now back to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly what they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but it was led a little bit too far. Yeah, that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur so they can't let that dream go just yet they have to get stout on defense here yeah right now really hoping for a turnover really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit
Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Kind of running there at your own risk against that 4-3 in that big line, aren't you? Yeah, and I don't really run it against a good 4-3 team that well because I've got to get those guys on the move a little bit. If you're a static running team, meaning you just want to run it in the middle, you may have some trouble against good defensive tackles. That's what we just saw on that play. No gain. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This will be third and six. They'll run it with Williams. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 36 yards out. And Dawson's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give them some breathing room and lets them build up a little cushion. After the main field goal, here's Dawson back out now to send this one away on the kickoff. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened there. you think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. But at least he was able to break that initial contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Let's go! Blue Lady! Blue Lady! Boyer. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Back to throw. Goodwin able to haul it in. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Hoyer to Goodwin, and the Niners have a first down. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. So the offense has it first and ten. Here we go now. Three, 19. Three, 19. 
Here's Hoyer. He finds Taylor complete. And some nifty running there. Ultimately, it doesn't get him a whole lot, but it does take him to the 45. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might have some tough coverage. Coming up to the line, they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Back to throw here. Caught out left side by Robinson. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. So the offense lining up first and ten. to throw over the middle to Kittle complete a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down time for a break we're back to finish this one off after this so it's 49er football here as we get you reset and let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over And here comes play number six on this drive. Now Hoyer. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll set up to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Pass interference. Defense. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. And that can jangle a team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. Red zone opportunity. Green, 39. Back to throw again. His pass caught at the four. And oh, he is really laid out that time. Knocked flat on his back. Offensively, they're trying to rush to the line as Hoyer urges him to get set. He'll look to throw. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. They got to have six here. It's third and goal. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Foster, offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Oh, 
They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. Looking to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. game as he looks to throw and his throw is going to be incomplete I'm going to need some help with this one how did he miss it wide open in the end zone he's not hurried he's not hit and somehow incomplete yeah, what happened during film study that's one where he's just going to shake his head not be able to believe it six points go by the wayside on that one They'll look to throw. That's caught at the two. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll drop to throw. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Rodney Gunter in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. starting field position here. They start to drive on the ground. It's Williams looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second and ten now. Again, it's Williams. And he's going to be taken down here at about the ten. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense.
The Cardinals on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and nine. On the ground, this is Williams. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Here's Andy Lee now. On presumably to punt, though he did complete a pass earlier. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And take it right on the 30. So a change of possession here on the punt. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Try and start this drive in the air. And that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds. 19 left. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and 10. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. to go on third. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. They'll set up a throw. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. All right, here we go. Green, 39. The Niners going for it. Here's Hoyer. Now a desperation. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by the veteran Antoine Bethea. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception 
It's going to pretty much write an end to this one. Palmer and that should wrap this one up a lot of scoring there's no doubt about that in this one Charles points they were not in a premium they were pretty easy to come by <laughs> they were but it was fun wasn't it because both teams finding ways to click and you know people who love this game they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.